Hello everyone, Brooklyn's in the house, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to Loyal Tactics. Now in this one is a subscriber loadout brought to you by Jesse. He wanted me to use the SAR-21 with the heavy barrel, cobra sight, and stubby grip along with the G18 as it is his favorite sidearm. So, if you have a loadout you would like me to use, please leave me a comment down below explaining to me what weapon and attachments you would like for me to use. Now in this video, it's going to be filled with the best moments I had with this weapon as every video should, and massive kill streaks. Now this weapon is a very dandy one because it has a very low recoil, almost non-existent, and the research I did on the weapon is very intriguing. It is called the Singapore Assault Rifle 21st Century. It is a ballpup assault rifle from 1999, a rugged high impact polymer made weapon with an ultrasonic welding in it, steel reinforced receiver halves, and a gun barrel cold hammer forged. Now when I read cold hammer forged, that explains the non-existent recoil. That steel is made to have low impact reaction, so this weapon even though it shoots 600 rounds per minute, with the ability to be able to aim down sight first and land your first two shots, you will be able to down enemies very quickly. Now, I caught many people off guard simply by aiming down sights and waiting at a certain moment like you see right here. He was running towards me without his, his weapon drawn at an at a engaging fashion, so I was able to take him down very quickly. And there's another one, and there's another one. So. The SAR-21, my feelings on the weapon. Now, this weapon is very good for long range tap firing and mid range engagements. Now, close encounters, it is very hard to try to, to establish a, a good gun battle because some weapons like the AEK or the FAMAS or even other weapons such as the ACE-23, which are not as quick as the AEK, will just wreck this gun in close encounter quarter. The PDWs will take this gun out very quickly. Now you have to be on your toes ready to get a, either a lucky headshot or just one of those nice rounds to the dome on purpose. Now when I talk about lucky headshots I mean one of those one of those headshots that you're aiming for the body and the recoil of the gun just simply lifts it up that fraction of a milla and it just pops them in the head. Now the G18 is a weapon that I found very interesting as well. It shoots 900 rounds per minute and it is by far, it became one of my favorite sidearms to use since it just takes people down so quickly. Now I am a semi-auto pistol guy. I like using the Deagle, the M9, the Compact 45, and even the FN57. Now those weapons have nothing on the G18 or the 93R. Those rapid fire sidearms just decimate the opponents in every moment that you pull it out if you can land all your shots in quick succession. As you'll see here, this guy had no idea. Brat, done for. So, the Glock 18 is a selective fine machine pistol variant of the 9mm Glock variant. Now, in Battlefield 4, it shoots 900 rounds per minute and its max damage is 22. The recoil up is very harsh at a .56. So if you're trying to get a mid-range or long-range engagement with this weapon, I highly doubt that you'll be able to tame the recoil enough to get a nice kill. Besides, the minimum damage of this weapon is 12.5, leading you to have at least eight bullets to kill your target. So in this loadout, I mostly stuck to mid-range to long-range engagements because tap firing this weapon is excelling and it just works very well in this map here flood zone you will see a very good selection of tap firing long-range engagements that just landed in my favor now of course I used automatic fire in some engagements because it was just the heat of the moment but as you see there the long range capabilities of the SAR-21 are impeccable. Now you'll see another one here as I catch another one running. So now the muzzle velocity on this weapon isn't as hot as in others but it does allow you to be able to track your enemies very easily without any lag at all. So this weapon it took me a while to warm up to it because I'm used to using the engineer class, the PDWs, close encounters, and when I first started using this weapon, it really caused me to have like trouble 
uh, managing my engagements and and just keeping it keeping it keeping it together let's just put it that way but like all veterans I got a grip and I started going crazy with this weapon now in this map I was very angry as you can tell by my teabagging I was kicked by the previous server for teabagging I guess he was the admin or whatever but I caught him smooth in the head from range with the G18 and he did not like my little quick teabag now sometimes I teabag on purpose Sometimes I teabag to get people motivated to look for me and to fight harder. Sometimes I just teabag because I'm owning somebody. But that was more of like a, come on buddy, get up type of teabag. And I guess he didn't like it, so he banned me. So now, every single person I killed on this map, I teabagged out of frustration. And I enjoyed it. Everybody was flustered. They didn't know what to, what to make of it. I caught people every left and right, and I was just teabagging everyone. So, excuse my teabagging, but, hey, when I'm angry, or when I have vengeance to take upon someone, I teabag. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up, and, oh, before I leave, I have a little secret for the Tactics family. Now, tomorrow will be a day like no other. Something new and fresh and exciting is coming to the channel. And if you guys are wondering what it is, I won't give it away here, but I will say this. It has something to do with StarCraft 2. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below of your loadouts. And the question is, will you subscribe? Fuck yeah!